Hi, Scorpio. Some smudging to clear a negative energy. Cleanse the space. Three chimes for positive energy. This is a general reading for the sign of Scorpio. If you have Scorpio anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Scorpio. What is it that you would like Scorpio to know or to be aware of for or during this reading? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio, a little bit about this reading and how this reading or how this reading works or the layout of this reading. When we're looking at this top row, this first row, we are looking at your public life, your professional life, um, what it is you do for work or career, and the energy that is surrounding you or the energy that those around you are creating. And the second row here is your private life, your home life, and the energy that is surrounding you or that is being created or you are creating there. And then this last row here, this final row, is final thoughts, final messages, final takeaway. What is it that Spirit would really like you to know, to be aware of, or to look at? Thank you, Spirit. And many times we will find that this final row kind of brings together the entire reading. Not always, but most of the time. And the foundation, the basis of your reading is the Page of Cups. Following our intuition, dreaming big, pie in the sky, moving on, moving into the unknown, following we we may not know where we're going, but we're going there. That was okay. Thank you, Spirit. That's very interesting. We, not, we may not know where we're going, but we're going to take action. Any movement is better than no movement. And that is the foundation, the basis of your reading here. And Scorpio, let's see where that takes us. I love that. That is bold. That is adventurous. And we start off with the Fool's card right here in your public life, your professional life. And the Fool's journey is beginning the journey, starting the, starting the task. A Fool's journey. New starts, fresh beginnings. And that is followed by the nine of pentacles which is the we have everything we need we're gathering we're creating fertile ground creating space the end the end of the end of doubt the end of stress, putting that in the past, leaving that in the past. And then we have the seven of swords, plan, preparing, planning, preparing. We've, you, Scorpio, You have worked hard. It has taken a lot of work. It's taken a lot of effort to get to this place, to get to this stage. 
And you may have even given up on ever receiving it. And it's almost like as soon as we've given up or as soon as we thought that it was never going to happen for us, that it was never going to arrive for us, surprise, it takes us to where we're going to, it takes us to where we want to go. Surprise, it's here for us. And it, it comes from unexpected places, unexpected. It comes from an unexpected place. But the funny thing about this unexpected place is that you've created it. That without all the work, without all the struggle, this would have never happened. And it just, you've given up and it just shows up for you. You are going to be approached by a person or you are going to find what it is that you want, what it is that you've been searching for, what it is that you've been wanting to create. And then we have the King of Pentacles, which is abundance, a rich abundance, a fulfillment of abundance. Being in the spotlight, moving into the great unknown, trust your intuition. There is a richness, there is a richness, there is a fullness coming into your private life, coming into your home life. That is going to require you to stand up and speak your mind about what it is that you would like for your future, how you see, how you envision your home life, how you see, how you envision your love life, your family life, and really stand up for yourself and really speak your peace. But I see it being very well received by those that are surrounding you. And we have the hangman card here because spirit is asking you to trust your intuition. You have really been going through a phase, a period of self-reflection and finding and learning and knowing who you are. And now it is time for you to share who you are and what you've learned with those that are closest to you. Keep it real, keep it realistic, and others will follow. Feeling courage. Stormy weather. Outwit, outlast, gift, divinely protected, and the third option. You know, Scorpio, love 
makes us feel courageous. And love really does boost our confidence. I think where you are coming or what you are coming into is you have felt that love and you have felt that confidence, but it hasn't always come from inside. And that is what we're not seeing, or that is where we're coming to, is that self-love and the love of ourself and acceptance of ourself enables the universe to bring in love into our lives. And the best confidence, the most fiercest courage comes from within us. And I see you moving into a time where we do not give the power where we do not give our own power away, that we find the courage and the confidence from within us. And we follow our own passion and we follow our own desires. And as soon as we practice self-love and love of self, that is when the universe brings in additional love to our life. And that is the message that I have for the sign of Scorpio. Thank you, Scorpio. You have a blessed week.